what's going on people back at it again with another amazing video today's video is my very first product review and as i promise i'm gonna find a remote that can work with the fire stick that has a mouse pad yes you heard that right this guy right here is made by a company called i paz port i'm probably pronouncing it wrong but as you see this is one of those um it's one of those keypad keypads that you could use with android boxes that they have the rf um switch but the only difference with this one is this one is a bluetooth one and this one actually works with amazon devices okay all right so let me show you how this is when you order this it's only about like 15.99 it's like 16 bucks and some change um i get them on uh, amazon and since i have prime it only took two two days to get and it's easy to get and if you don't have prime i believe it's still the same price but it'll take a little longer to get but anyways let me show you how it is let me open this up simple package they don't even staple it but it's real simple as you see you already know this is the keyboard you know what i mean it has it's like one of those cheap plastics so you get the lithium battery it doesn't have the rf uh, the RF Google things that you put in the USB because this is just a straight Bluetooth. But I do want to show you something. You see right there the battery life or the battery strength is only 800. That's all you really need because this thing you could charge up and use it for days and not even stress. Um, stress about dying. It does charge though. You can charge it. Okay. And it comes with the charger here. And it's simple, like it's one of those simple cell phone chargers. Let me see if I can get this in focus. There you go. See how it's the mini one? Simple. And what's nice about it is it comes, let me see if I could open this up better. It comes actually with the charger looking like this. Okay. You see that? It comes where you could plug it into charge. And you have this here. And then you have this guy right here okay it's pretty neat i like that that's one thing they they give you and then also gives you instructions the instructions are pretty much in they have in chinese and japanese or chinese whatever it is but it's really simple to do and it actually t shows you how to activate for certain devices like for your iphone for your android yeah, on this booklet, according to this, it says you can activate it for iPhones or I Apple devices. I don't have an Apple device, but um, it says you can connect it. I have Android devices, so. And then this is the model numbers that they have. You see here, all different ones. This one is model number. There it is. You can see that right there. Okay. But don't worry about it. I'll have it in the description of the um the link that you can order it on amazon and it's real easy to do i have that link down there below but um let me show you real quick simple you just turn it on and see how it lights up to turn on the bluetooth so you can link you hit this button and your f1 button you hold it down for five seconds and then it'll link up with your fire stick okay um it does have a backlight um let me see here the backlight, if I remember how to turn it on, it does turn on. Uh, oh, duh, right there. So you hit that. Oh, I just turned it off. It's really dim on here, but it does have a backlight. Okay, so enough talking. Let me show you how this bad boy works. All right, started this up. So let me just show you real quick. I don't have a mouse toggle. So we're going to go into this here. Hit that right there just to show you there's no mouse toggle okay normally it will be probably right it will be definitely right in here it's not there so don't have it so what we're gonna do okay to set this up we're gonna go into controllers and Bluetooth devices go down to other Bluetooth devices you're gonna click that once you click that you're gonna hit you're gonna hit um excuse me real quick you're going to hit add Bluetooth devices so once you add, you click that, 
it's searching for your Bluetooth remote. You're going to turn this remote on. And from this point, all you're going to do is press F1 and FN for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And just let it go, the buttons. And right now you're going to see on your remote it's blinking blue. Give it a second. You see how it popped up? Now with your Fire Stick remote, oh, see what's going to happen is you got to wait till it shows up again. I, I waited too long. So once it comes back up, give it a second, hit the select button on your Fire Stick remote. Now it's pairing with your uh, iPads port remote. Give it a second and it should um, kick up. And there you go. Now you're ready to go. All right. I'm using, let me see here, where's the home button? Yep. I'm using right now the remote on my, uh, the iPads port, but I want to show you something. This is really good. See how the NFL stream, everybody that knows this uh, APK, you have to use the mouse toggle. Well, let me show you. You're going to go into it, let it load up. Okay. And all you have to do is touch the mouse pad. You see what happens? And then to scroll up and down, you see how this goes? Okay. And actually, um, there's no other games on, so I'm going to select um, another, which we're going to go to, there it goes, TV Pato 2. Actually, this one I don't think will open up. I need the new version. Um, oh, no. Okay. So here you go. You're going to click Access Rapido. See how... And it works pretty good. Now, you're like, oh, you get ads, so let me back out of that. You say, well, it won't scroll down. Well, what's nice is you press the mouse button, right? And you just basically scroll down with your two fingers. Let me see here. Yep, and it's basically, it moves pretty quick. You see that? Pretty good. Now, just to show you, you just click it, select, and you could go with your mouse all using this iPads remote. Oops, there we go. There we go. Give it a second. Of course, it won't work. That's no problem. I just. Not here to show you um, this APK works. This is actually outdated TV Bato 2. I have a new one. But anyways, the one thing I did want to show you too is you see how the uh, you can't exit out of this here with the iPads remote. You can easily hit the house button on your remote and it takes you out. And there you go. Or you still you're still able to use your uh, fire uh, fire stick remote as well. Like here, you hear the clicks. Still using it. But there you go. This uh, iPads port remote is pretty damn good. Um, let me turn it off. When you turn it off, it should tell you it's um, not connected. Um, well, usually it does. I did it the other day and it worked. But oh, there you go. You see how it says uh, it's not discon is disconnected? So it is a pretty good remote. And you, it eliminates the mouse toggle which is a guaranteed plus. I can't stand that mouse toggle. But anyways, the links are down below of how to get it. Hope you um, check it out. If you And it's cheap. It's only like 16 bucks. And it's um, if you have Prime, it takes two days to get. And if you don't have Prime, it'll take maybe a little longer, but not that long. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please hit the like button, sh share my video, as well as my channel, and also subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great evening.